Hey guys, I am back. I'm actually sitting at the CVS because I'm picking up uh, blood pressure medicine. <clears throat> but I stopped off at Wendy's. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm hoping that my camera is going to run the whole time. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it's so hot outside. Alright, so I got a large chocolate frosty right here. I left my tripod at home, so I know you guys are like sitting kind of funny. I got a cup of chili. This is their large cup. I think their small ones are like little. Itty bitty. Wendy's actually has decent chili. like 187 degrees outside and I'm like yeah let's eat some chili today <laughs> but I just had my physical for my surgery which is next week I'm getting scurred I also got a side Caesar salad and then I got a baked potato with bacon and cheese. And then it also has sour cream and butter. I'm just going to sit here and eat on this chili for a minute, though. I have been so busy. Like, this whole week I've got doctor's appointments. Because I've got high blood pressure. So the doctor was like, if you were going under general anesthesia, I would have said, no, you can't have the surgery because your blood pressure is too high. But since it's going to be like IV sedation and local anesthesia, then she's like, I'm going to let you do it. But she put me on lisinopril, which is a blood pressure medica medication that I've taken before. So she's letting me start this <clears throat> and then check my blood pressure for the next couple days and then I got to go back and see her in like two or three days and then I got to go back to the foot doctor tomorrow for my pre-op for him then the surgery next week Plus, with it just being summer break, I've got all the kids all the time. So it's harder for me to get away. So I'm just waiting for them to fill my prescription. I stopped off because I was hungry. I was already kind of fasting, but I took a couple sips of coffee, which had creamer in it. So she was like, no, nope, can't do it. I don't have somebody that's just parked next to me here. Couple packets of crackers. So I'm gonna break these up and put them in my chili cup. Hold on.
haven't really eaten much over the past couple days. Just haven't felt all that great. I think it's just nerves. I like working up knowing that it's coming. the surgery that I had before was I had it done on both feet it was way more extensive and involved than what I'm having done this time around so we'll see I'll let you know <laughs> I can't take any kind of pain medication so it's not like I'm gonna have to get through it without anything other than Tylenol which I recovered from an emergency c-section without any pain medication at all so I know I can do a foot surgery all right so this is their side Caesar salad I tried to stop at Wendy's the other week and record and of course my phone did like eight minutes and it was like nope and it turned off because it said it was too hot It was a really good mukbang, too. I had my 4th of July fireworks I was going to show you guys. It's so busy out today. Like, all these people are driving around. It's like, don't you guys work? But the doctor that I met, she's a nurse practitioner, which is fine. Like, I don't discriminate on their ability. She is so good, though. <clears throat> like, she really knows her stuff and about some of my issues and stuff like that. a little piece of the like very bottom parts of the salad the head of lettuce I don't want to eat those ah. but it's been so long since I've had like a real physical done like they did an EKG and everything blood work got my little band-aid and she actually like took her time to sit there and talk with me She was younger, so like I could relate to her. And like she's gone through some of the stuff that I've gone through too. <clears throat> so she was talking to me more on like a personal level instead of like doctor patient level, which was nice. I like that.
but like I walked in the door and I walk up to the counter and I'm waiting for the lady to take my ID and insurance and stuff like that and there's another lady sitting down talking to another guy and she was like my appointment was at 11 o'clock and I've been sitting here for 40 minutes and I just asked how long it was going to be before I went back and she said oh probably another like 10 or 15 minutes out here but then you're going to get taken back and it'll be at least a half an hour back there because the doctor's behind and I was like oh great and for me being a new patient getting a physical they're supposed to set aside a half an hour instead of just the standard 15 minutes and some doctors double book their 15 minute slots too which pisses me off all about that money so I fill out my paperwork and stuff because I have no choice like I can't go anywhere else I need to get this done because I have surgery in a week I can't get in anywhere else so whether it was going to take 20 minutes or 4 hours, I had I had to do it. But that lady ended up leaving. Because she was like, this is my first time here and I don't think I'm ever coming back. And she left, which was fine. And then I got triaged and taken right back to the room sat in the room for maybe five minutes and then the nurse practitioner came in and started talking to me and did all my work and everything like that and then did my blood work and all that the EKG she told me about how she had a neuroma removed <clears throat> and she was like I know exactly what you're going through and I was like oh finally somebody else knows She looked really young, but she had she has five kids, and she's got two sets of Irish twins. So she was like slamming these babies out back to back. Me, <laughs> with Logan and Aria, anyway. So she showed me all of her kids, and I was like. I'm sitting there thinking like how the hell do you have five kids and you're a nurse practitioner and you manage to maintain like home and stuff because she had pictures on her computer and they were pictures of like her son was one was in football one was in baseball one of the girls was in cheerleading one of the girls was in track and it's like Maybe it's, like, your husband's, like, a stay-at-home husband or something? Because that's a lot. She was telling me about how she used to be in, like, an abusive relationship and stuff. And her ex-husband was a drug addict, alcoholic, and she had to get away from that situation. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I spent my late teens and early 20s in that same situation. was an alcoholic and a drug addict. <clears throat> it messed me up. And then I got messed up along the way after that too from other people, so. At 
at least Scott is understanding. I don't have time to do the story times or anything, but <clears throat> I had past issues with drug abuse and um, being raped, physically abused, mentally abused, like you name it, I've been through it. The more comfortable I get, the more I'll probably share over time. Chili's making my nose run. See, but now I don't have any issues with drugs or anything like that. Now I just really like food. This is my Frosty. I don't like how you guys are positioned back there. Like I'm sitting up and then it's like you guys are looking at my nose and everything. Sorry. When I left the house, I wasn't hungry, but once I got out of the doctor, I was like, I'm starving. But this won't be a full full mukbang or anything. I just want to check in with you guys and let you know what was going on. Because <clears throat> I posted a video yesterday, but it's an older one. But right, now I got my potato. Take a few bites of this. But she wants me to start taking this blood pressure medication like now. And then to start monitoring my blood pressure in the morning and then at night. Cause it was, what was it when she took it? Um, my EKG is normal. My blood pressure was 142 over 92. So, that's pretty high. And I can tell that, like, my blood pressure is high because I can feel it in my chest. Like, I can feel, it almost feels like I'm constantly, like, a racehorse. It feels like I've constantly just ran, like, the quickest sprint and I'm trying to recover, but I, I can't. So I'm always tired and stuff, too. And my whole family <clears throat> has finally decided that, you know, since we've moved and we're in a better place and we've got, like, a house that we love and everything like that, now we're trying to focus on ourselves <clears throat> and making ourselves healthier and happier and, like, going to the doctors and taking the medications that we need to take to get better. Instead of just saying, like, oh, it's okay, you know, I'll deal with it eventually. Because I hate being tired all the time. Oh, here comes this lady that's going to that part next to me. She's gonna be like, damn, that bitch is still eating. But I guess I am. <laughs> I hate accidentally, like, catching people on camera. medicine better not be more than $11 because that's all I got on me right now.
I walked out without the check card. And I seen the sign and it was like, um, payment is due as services are rendered, which is pretty typical. But I was like, oh crap, I forgot the card. And I was like, well, usually I don't have a co-payment, so I should be all right. And thankfully they weren't like, hey, you owe us money. Because I would have been like, hold on, I got to call my husband. Why did I just blow on that? I just blew on that like it was hot. Let me cool this frosty down. It's already melted because I had to drive halfway across town. Everybody's got their SUVs and stuff out today. Escalades. I would sit and like keep eating, but I want to start taking this medication and stuff. Plus, I gotta get back to the children. Because I've been gone for about three hours, which is pretty typical, I guess, for going in, establishing care with a brand new doctor, having all of that work done, getting out, grabbing lunch, doing a mukbang, and picking up my medicine. That's not bad. I'm going to eat the rest of the crackers out of this chili so they don't get super, super soggy. Too late. <laughs> How many of you guys like chili? And if you do, what do you put in, like, what do you put in it? Like, I like the typical, like, meat and bean type of chili. It's similar to like what they have at Wendy's, but I'll do it at home. And then I'll add in like shredded cheese and a lot of sour cream and crackers, like Ritz crackers or saltine crackers. Sometimes I'll put in some of the, that Rotel chili peppers and stuff. Those aren't really spicy. Alright, so I ate about half of the chili. Well, maybe not quite half of it. And then a couple bites out of everything else. Just kind of enough for me to check in with you guys, let you know that I'm okay. I've just been super, super busy with trying to get all this surgery stuff. Did I just spit? Probably. Y'all know me. <laughs> trying to get all this surgery stuff done. So it's been like crazy ridiculous. But to let you guys know for all of that, for the bacon and cheese potato was $3.49. Uh, they did a combo meal of a large chili and side Caesar salad for $4.99 and then a large chocolate frosty for $0.55, cents, totaling $9.87 for all of it. In case y'all were wondering, probably not. But, oh well, I told you anyways. I even went out without makeup on and stuff. I just have not been feeling good the past couple days hell it is. Like I said, probably just the nerves. I think I need to do a few more mukbangs to get my mind off of it. Alright. 
Well, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I can probably take off my little blood band-aid here. She was good too. Just a teeny little bit. Didn't even feel it. And I told her, I was like, I'm a phlebotomist too, so she was like oh don't worry about it and like she was confident in herself and I like that she did ask me though which arm I would prefer to be used I was like well typically my right one right here is the best so let's go ahead and try for that she's like okay she did good they were all really good they were all really nice well ahead of everything like the receptionist lady even called the foot doctor to get paperwork and stuff to make sure that they were doing all the right tests and stuff which I forgot to do yesterday I've just been like I don't know it's just nervous scared because at the same time I'm I'm gonna be kind of immobile and incapacitated for a few days and I don't know how much help I'm gonna have and I know Munch is going to be like, ooh, you've got all this stuff wrapped around your feet. And they're not going to put like a hard cast on it or anything. So I'm afraid of her like poking me or falling on me or, you know, just something. And obviously I can't carry her with crutches. So I'm worried about her screaming and crying and all that stuff. And I don't know. I'm just nervous. I'll get there, though. It'll be all right. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining me for my little snack and stuff. Like I said, just wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm, I'm getting there. So, I've got another doctor appointment tomorrow and the day after that. And then next Tuesday, I go in for the surgery. And then after a couple days after that, I go back to the doctor again for post-op. And then probably again, like, the following week. And I gotta go back to the other doctor to get more blood work. Cause she's like, yeah, when you're fasting, we're gonna come back and do all this. So. Oh, just like, oh my goodness, people. All right, well, I will talk to you guys later. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, hit that button down below, become a member of my family. We would love to have you. If not, I don't care. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.